you realise that everything you put in affects everything that comes out of you? We're not just talking about food. We're talking about the input that goes in through the ears, the eyes, the senses, the smell. That basically, we've got to be very careful about what we put into our system so that what comes out is worth receiving. Input, output, it's easy to control input. And I want you to talk about what you watch, what you read. What are you reading at the moment? If what comes out of your mouth is the overflow of what's in your heart and in your mind, then are you putting in some good stuff? Are you reading some great books? Do you know one of my favourite reads of the last few years was the book called Shift. I loved it. I loved the way it was helping people to actually shift from where they are to where they want to be. Most of us forget to actually put concentrated time into every day to learn. Where are you going to do it? 10 minutes in the bathroom? Something on the CD in the car or the iPod? When you walk the dog or go for a walk that you're putting in some fresh input, not just radio or TV or news, but you actually put in some areas where you really need to grow. Most of us could do with a little bit more reading. Hey, even if reading makes you go to sleep, better to read two or three pages of good quality material before you go to sleep and possibly have it there waiting for you when you wake up so that you could read one more page before you start the day. Get a plan for growing yourself and growing the input because if you change the input, you're going to change the output and you are going to be lovelier to be around. <laughs>